hey guys welcome back to my channel um today is another asos haul um i've been shopping again and i spent a bit too much money but luckily some of it doesn't fit so that means we've got more money to spend Woo! um but yeah i've decided to do some shopping because i basically i went on ASOS to do some shopping for my family for their Christmas presents and then I just thought you know what treat yourself so I've ended up buying a hell of stuff for me and actually I've got about 13 presents to buy for people and I bought one so yeah one out of 13 Christmas presents done um not much money left in the bank but you know it's all good I got some new clothes so I'm happy <laughs> yeah so I'm going to show you what I bought basically. Um, everything that I have bought will be in the description box below with the sizing price and direct links to everything. So yeah, let's crack on with the video. Right guys, so outfit number one is this cute um, high neck, I think this is a polo neck, a uh, polo neck kind of jumper. Um, I've rolled the sleeves up, it's like, it should be a bit longer. But I think it looks quite nice when it's tucked into these jeans. And yeah, it's nice and autumnal, nice and cosy. And I really like this colour. Um, it obviously will look nicer when I have a bit of a tan. But yeah, I'm into this jumper. I really like it. I think it's really nice. And then I've paired it with these jeans, which are ASOS original as well. I think this jumper is actually ASOS like own brand. Um, these jeans are really cute, but I did get, like, they are a bit big on my ankle, um, if you can see that. So, these will be fine with some black boots or something like that. But, yeah, I think it's a cute little outfit. Um, nice and chilled, not too tight in the jean department, because we know I hate tight jeans. When you live in leggings, you literally cannot wear tight jeans, because it's just, like, the end of the world, basically. But yeah, I got these trainers, um, but I wore them today, so they're a bit muddy, so I can't really try them on. But these are platform trainers from Pull and Bear. Um, really cute. Um, I didn't get any blisters or anything like that. I need to give them a wipe down, obviously, because they're dirty. But yeah, I love this leopard detailing, and we all know how like popular leopard print is at the moment. So yeah, it's nice to have a bit more height as well. I am five foot five foot seven but I like it a bit more height without having to wear heels um, and the logo of Pull and Bear is really tiny on here which I really really like um, and I just think they're really cute trainers uh, not something I'd usually go for but I actually am kind of in love with them and these could possibly replace my Converse so yeah and these weren't very expensive at all obviously the links will be below um, so you'll see, but I got them in a size 5 and yeah, they are true to size, they don't hurt, they don't rub and yeah, they're perfect. Right, so next up I got this, um, kind of, this jacket, um, I thought this was going to be like a teddy bear jacket and it is not, um, I just tucked it in, but yeah, I feel like a big fat sheep in this jacket, so I'm definitely going to send it back, it's way too big for me. Um, if I'm going to wear crop stuff, I want it to be quite tight. Um, it's just, it's just random, like, the whole shape of it is just a bit, like, weird. I just feel like a fucking sheep, so, yeah, I'm definitely sending this back. It is not worth the 50 quid that I thought it would be worth. Um, it is kind of cute, it is growing on me, but... It's just too sheepy. Like, I honestly reckon if I went into a field full of sheep, they'd think I was, like, another sheep with them. Great analogy that I shall. Um, but yeah, this is far too sheepy for me. It is quite cute, though. Hmm, I don't know. And I don't like the fact it doesn't have a hood and it just has these, like, flappy bits. Yes, I am just wearing my bra underneath, so you're going to have to go over that. But, I think the sheep's going back. I think I'm going to send this back. But it is cute, isn't it? Hmm. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think I should send it back because it's just a bit un... Yeah, it is it's going back. It's definitely going back because it's just unflattering. And... I don't know. If I was going like fancy dress as a sheep, then it would be ideal. But day to day, I don't really do that. So I think it should go back. That's the decision here. It is not. Next up is this really cute. This is literally like my favourite thing of the haul. Um, this really cute waterproof with this beautiful pink fluffy innards. Um, the innards, it's literally only on your body, not on your arms. So your arms are not fluffy on the insides. Um, but this chevron colour scheme I really like and this is all adjustable here so I, I usually like to make things cropped and um, yeah that looks a bit weird now but um, yeah it will look cute when I'm just moving my light <laughs> yeah I think it looked really cute with gym kit because I always have like a fluffy jacket or something like that but I never have waterproofs so I just thought for when it's a bit I don't know like this transitional kind of period where it's not actually that cold at the moment but it is raining and horrible and gross it's almost like too hot for a coat sometimes with a hoodie underneath but too cold to just wear a hoodie so this I think will be perfect for that um excuse the little rash I've got going on in here I don't know what it's from but yeah I really like this coat I think it's so cute it's got a nice hood as well and yeah I even like this the, like the striped drawstrings and these little details here um yeah I just think it's a really nice coat and I don't think it was that expensive because it's only from Bershka but I got this in a size medium um but as I say it will be linked below so yeah I love this coat you will literally see me living in this coat it's so nice Thank you very much. While I'm talking about being cold and all things like that, I got this really cute um, black bobble hat. I call it a bobble hat, but I think it's called a beanie on ASOS. But yeah, it's got two fluffy kind of ears. Elliot says I look like Minnie Mouse, which is exactly what I was going for. Not. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute, so I'll show you that on now. I mean, I think it's cute. It's just to keep me warm anyway. I don't know why he's being so mean, but I think it's quite cute. And with this little outfit, I don't know what I'm on my knees, but I do see what he means by I look like Minnie Mouse actually. But mm, I look kind of crazy. Maybe I should have just got one bubble. Mm, one bubble does look nicer. Maybe if I sew these together, it would be cute. Or maybe I just embrace the mini life. I mean, they're quite wobbly, so they feel like one of them might fall off soon. Maybe I should just get them tied together. Oh my gosh, that could be such a good life hack. If you put a hair, hair tie around there, I reckon it will actually stay. Ha! Genius. Don't know why I'm telling you all of this. But yeah, this is how I got. And then I got a headband as well, which I'll show you now. So next up we have this cute um, like knotted fluffy headband which is again the same as a hat, they're both one size fits all kind of thing um, but I'll show you what that looks like on. I'm not 100% sure how these are meant to go on, I feel like you can either wear them on top of your hair or like brush your hair back but let's, let's give it a go. So yeah this is with it on top of my hair. Um, I think it would look a bit nicer with my hair pushed back. Let me just show you because this is not going well well with these hatty things. I just don't want to get too much makeup on it. See, now I look like I'm wearing... I don't think that's right either. I don't know how you're meant to wear these. Um, yeah, all I know is I keep my ears warm and that's what I live for. So... Maybe from a distance it looks nicer. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know how you're meant to wear them. I just feel like a bit of a dickhead. That doesn't look nice. Let me give this another go. It was still zoomed in guys. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. That looks nicer, I think. A bit nicer. I don't still don't know what's going on here, but I've got the whole winter to figure that out, so that's okay. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I think it's really cute, and I don't think it was very expensive either. So yeah, it's gonna keep my ears warm, and that's the main thing, isn't it? But I still think it looks quite cute. So what do you think about it? Actually, I don't want to know because that was not the nicest footage of me ever. So I'm probably gonna get some nasty comments on that. But yeah, those are the only cold weather items I really bought. Um, I'll show you a dress next. Next up we have a really sad dress that had a lot of potential. Can you see? Yum. Yes. Potential. Booty. Yes. Thank you very much. Waist. Bit, bit baggy. And then front. I look like some kind of something I don't even know. The, this length dress does not suit me. It's also far too baggy. I also nearly flashed you. But I don't like this. I'm not into this, like, thing. It's too big for me. It just looks like a sack of shit. And yeah. It had so much potential and it looks so nice on the model. And it just looks awful on me. It's like... I'm almost too short for it. Even when I put it down, it just looks a bit nasty. It's just, it's a disappointment basically. And this color also doesn't suit me apparently because I look ill. Um, so yeah, this one's going back. But if if you like dresses like this, then I'd definitely say on this one you need to size down because it's far too big. It could look nicer in a smaller color, I guess, but smaller colour, smaller size um, but I'm not going to risk it because I got the size 12 and that's the size I usually am I think if it was any smaller it'd just look a bit I don't know, it'd be too tight on my bum really wouldn't it but yeah so this is definitely going back it's nasty so that is everything that I bought from ASOS um, so I'm only sending out two items, the weird sheep coat and the baggy, saggy, gross, ill coloured dress. Um, so yeah, overall it was a good shopping spree. Um, I need to have a little break from spending money on ASOS because it's becoming a once a month thing that just isn't healthy. Um, so yeah, that needs to stop. But I hope you enjoyed the try on haul thing and let me know what kind of video you'd like next time. I love you guys. See you all soon.